Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss Talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk. It's a unique hustle. Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. Jamaica in the house. Hey, my girl said Jamaica in the house, man. We got a special guest here today, man. This guy, he said he's a Latin artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he needs no introduction. No, 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 no. You, if you've been on, if you, if you're not somewhere under a rock, you should have seen this guy before, man. Oh man, come yeah, yeah, on, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's special, man. Juan Mendez is in the yes, house. Sir, yes, What's sir. What's going on, man? What's up, man? So, so you, you had a viral moment. Yes, sir. That's right. So, so tell us about it. Like, like, how does it feel to to get over three million views on on something you 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 know you put out? Man, bro, let me tell Come you, bro. Come up to the to mic. Me, bro, to me, it's kind of like crazy because, you know, like, it's one of those things that was, like, unexpected. Like, you know, like, even the song, the way the song was made and, and stuff, like, you know, like, it was kind of like one of those songs that I just, you know, I just put together and I wasn't sure to, you know, take it out and, you know. Tell everybody the name of the song. But the song is Peeping in My Window. Peeping in My Window? Yeah. And what inspired you to do it? Because... Uh, I mean, I know when it first took off and you get 20,000, it's like, wow, man, it's 20,000. Then you look up and it's 50. Then you look up and it's 100,000. Then you like, dang, it's up to 500K. It, exactly. Bro. Like, 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 how did that feel? Man, bro, it's, it's, it's just. Uh, it's surreal, huh? It's, it's just crazy. Like, it was unbelievable to me. Like, you know, like, at first I saw it, like, at 100,000, you know, and when I, when I hit 100,000, I was like, wow, that's a lot of people, you know, like. That's a lot of people, you know. I and wasn't, your song I wasn't is used in Hispanic. That. It's in Spanish, it's, right? It's a Spanish song, yeah. And uh, just to talk real quick about the song, you know, I was uh, I was inspired by you know because you know I grew up in Houston, Texas, and uh, I like the you know the, the cultural music, the hip hop, you know. In Houston. Oh yeah, we're in Houston and, uh, right now, baby. Yeah, of course, hell yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, so I was I was just listening to DJ Screw, and uh, I was just you know chilling. And I heard I heard peeping in my window come on, and I was like, "Wait, hold on, hold up! I like this song. Run, run that, run that back, run that back." And um, you know, I was I was just I, I just heard it, and you know, it caught my attention. So I was like, you know what? I looked at my friend. I was like, you know what? I'm about to do something that nobody has done yet. And uh, you know, so I'm a Latin artist. So I do Spanish music, and that's like what I do. So when you say you're a Latin um, artist, because you rap the song, right? Yeah. But in Spanish. So you're still just a rapper, right? But it's yeah. a Hispanic rapper. Yes. But it, cause when I think about Latin artists, I think about... Um, Pitbull? No. Oh, Lord. Reggaeton? No. <laughs> I'm thinking about um, more like your R&B type of, you know, Latin music. Oh, okay, well, no, just to talk about my music real quick. Um, my music originated from uh, uh, Mexican regional music. Guanajuato. The reason I started Where was it at? <laughs> my, well, my roots are from... Uh, Guanajuato. <laughs> no, you're not saying it right. Nah, bro. How you say it? Guanajuato. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, you know, I was, I was influenced by, you know, the Mexican music. So I always liked how the accordion sound. So I just, I just decided to one day just, you know, try to learn it. So I was like, you know, why not? Right. So since the first day I, I started learning, I just never, I never lost interest. And, you know, I just wanted to keep getting better and better and better. And, uh, along the time, you know, I, I developed new skills and new, new techniques and new interests, you know, like I started playing the guitar and then I started writing music. And I started hearing beats and trying to like flow and, and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I developed. And uh, at the, you know I have a, I have a band right now, and uh, I I play like Spanish music. Uh, I have a uh, you know uh, all 
different types of music right now and uh rap is one of them so you know the the rap thing was kind of just crazy it just i did that song and then i uploaded it and it just went viral and you know i just i don't know what to say <laughs> what is the oh, different i have a question what is real the dope. different genres of music in the latin industry so you got like um for example you got like i know you have like bachata type of you know yeah so so you got like you know uh latin trap which is like you know basically rap with, with like you know like a reggaeton vibe and you know stuff mm -hmm. and then you got like uh corridos you know which is kind of more like uh guitars and, and tubas and stuff like that and then you also got like of course by bachata mm -hmm. and which is like you know dancing music right yeah and uh all, all sorts of music you know there's there's rock and so what category do you fall in i feel like i'm kind of I'm kind of versatile to the music game, like, honestly, because, you know, I have a lot of stuff that I've been, you know, doing, and it's, it's it involves genres like rap, um, corridos, um, rock, you know, indie, you know, stuff like that. You mm -hmm. know, I, I have I have a lot of stuff that I'm excited to put out, and, uh, you know, I just hope people react to it. So this song that hit in the millions of views, it motivated you to really come out yeah and, and you know it just it was just you know one more step you know in my career and that was definitely a a huge step because it was just like it, re it literally felt like it was overnight but it, it wasn't you know it took it took time and, and hard work so how are you gonna top that song <laughs> i got something you got, I got something. something yes sir yeah. yeah, you say that. You say that. I got something. I got something. Everybody yeah. says I'm gonna be watching. Everybody I'm gonna be watching. That. If you don't got some, I'm like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give them the big. So when are you bum. coming out with your next project? So I'm thinking about beginning of November or maybe late October for my next project. It's gonna be EP. Um I'd rather not say the name yet because you know it's top secret still. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got but, you. But yeah. Peeping in my window is gonna be the first song on there. So Cause you got such a big rating for it. Yeah, and it'll be available on all platforms. You can find it on Spotify, on Apple Music, all platforms. That's cool. So can I so I can find it right now? Yeah. Okay. You can yeah. search me up as Juan Mendes and you know I'm on all platforms. Hey, that boy Juan Mendes is rich. And that's yeah. okay. I better get to it, baby. That boy better go. And y'all ain't gonna be a part of it if y'all don't know him before. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just remember Boss Talk 101. We, we was the one. Boss Talk 101. Did we that's first right. interview you? Or you had another interview already. This is honestly, this is my first interview. This is the dopest interview ever, nigga. What are you talking <laughs> about? Like this, honestly, no, honestly, this is the dopest platform in the universe, nigga. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm talking about? Like, period, dog. It's a pleasure like, to be here. It's thank a you. To you're be welcome. Here. You know, we brought you in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's a, it's a that. thing that 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 we often do, man. And we want the ones who have never done it before, but has broke the algorithm on YouTube like that. For you to have over three million hits on one platform, then somebody pirated your stuff, put it on another platform, and you get over eight million. Come on, man, you're a beast, man. Why 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 would we not put you on Boss Talk One Hundred One? You feel me? Yes, sir. Are yeah. you on TikTok or any of those other platforms? I'm, yet? I'm super viral on TikTok. Like, get out of here! TikTok is like, like crazy. They do like all sorts of videos. They do all sorts of memes. Everything, everything is like to your song. the craziest things you can imagine to my songs. And you haven't and monetized, not even TikTok yet. It's it's working. I have a manager, and you know we we're working. Like I calm stuff, down. You know, so. yeah. It's working. I have yeah. a manager. We have a manager. My manager. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let yeah, him know if you he ain't monetizing out. that that TikTok. How many how many people yeah. followers you got on TikTok? On TikTok? Yeah. Well, you see, my music is popular on, on TikTok, but, but nobody you, really know. No, nobody really know who I, who like who's who uh, did that? Who, who's doing it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's but true. you know. Bro, you need that presence, time. man, because that <laughs> yeah. money coming in, somebody yeah. winning off that. Yeah, and all the people are making you. that money off of you. <laughs> it's supposed to be your deal, and they're taking your money, and we want to find out so we can get to the bottom <laughs> of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So how 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 did you and Ronnie Spencer link up? Man, the legendary Ronnie Spencer. The legendary. Man. Let me tell you about my boy. 
so it's pretty crazy because you know the first day that we met we met at, at his house and uh you know we we literally just shook hands and we're like i was introduced and you know he introduced was like, by who i was introduced by uh members of the screwed up click okay and uh you know he, ronnie was just like okay when when are we doing this and uh I was just like, when are we doing this? And then he's like, you know, let's do this right now, you know? So, you know, Ronnie is like, you know, a very firm man and, and you know, he's, he's about his words. So if he wants to do something, he's gonna do it, you know? Right. And uh, like, wow, it was just crazy. It just happened so fast. I just I just said, all right, bet. And next thing you know, we were in the studio recording verses. And uh, yeah, by the way, the song that's coming out is One Day. It's a remix. Is it? Legendary. Oh, yeah. legendary yours truly and legendary ronnie spencer that's wow right. that's cool. that that's a big song to to, to remake yeah that's gonna so be when it. you gonna drop that yeah um that's that's coming soon you know we're working on a video for that and a, and a cool visual we want to put out something good for y'all wow man hey man you and and, and and i don't know if you know it or not but you got the it factor bro you young you know what i'm saying you dope you gonna you you can kill the game you know, <laughs> that's why you got over yeah. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven million, really, <laughs> really, yeah. eleven million. Yeah, people that done viewed your music. I think that's dope, bro. Some people will never do that in their life. Yeah, and this is pretty crazy, you know. It has to be anybody ever walked up to you and say, "Hey, you that guy?" Yeah, and and it's it's like it's at the least expected moment. Like you know, I could be like this one time I was having a bad day, and like you know, I was just like you know really really bummed about a, a previous situation and. You know, all, all of a sudden I went to the store and somebody walks in and they're like, wait, are you Juan Mendez? And then I was like, yeah, that's me. And then he's like, wow, let me get a picture, you know. And I was just like, my mood just instantly changed. Right. And, and, you know, I just instantly like caught on and I was like, you know what? I'm tripping, you know, <laughs> I can't I can't be I can't be like this. You know, there's there's a lot of people that, you know look up look to up you. to me and you know I, I can't let them down and i'm not gonna let them down man that's a dope attitude to have yeah. brother especially when god didn't gifted you yeah with a gift and it's all like thanks to god yeah 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 that's a dope attitude. top three artists of all time dead or alive it can be any, any genre, genre latino <laughs> it, it could be uh uh whatever you want to say so your they're, they're number one who is it selena my number one favorite artist selena. <laughs> mm -hmm. man Honestly, bro, like my my number one favorite artist is Drake. Drake, okay, cool. Yeah, because he's he holds number one because long, longevity, of course. I don't really do this because I'm drunk right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, and yeah, I just two? I just like how Drake's been in the game for so long, and like like wow, dude, you're killing it, bro. You've been killing it for so long, and that's what it's about, you know, like longevity, you know, and and that's I, that's just something really huge that i look up to number, number two number two number two it has to be j cole because you know he has just he just has a crazy imagination and it's like I the way j. he, he I shapes he his words j. it's just like like wow like you know like it, every word has a meaning and it's like it just every meaning hits you different wow. and it's like that's cool and every cadency is different and every flow is it matches you know and you know the energy is just there and i like that what about um number three number three number three <laughs> i like um i like young Dolph. Woo -hoo, that boy say Dolph, nigga. Yeah. that nigga Dolph. Go i like young through. Dolph because of his attitude yeah yeah you know you he's, he's just like you know i'm gonna do what i want to do you know like i want to i want to do me and that's it, you know. Like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna get this money. I'm gonna do me. Shout out to Key Glock, right? Shout, hey right. man, shout out Key Glock. Hey, <laughs> yes sir. Yeah, Key Glock go hard, dude. But yeah, man. Man, that whole camp, man. I love the way Dolph. It's just a good, good opportunity, man. That we got to meet you, man. And cut. You came on Boss Talk 101, man. Next time we're gonna have you up to the studio in Dallas, Texas, man. We're gonna bring <laughs> you. Wait, up. Yeah, wait. yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta come up there. And, Remix around this thing. Remix. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Say thank sir. you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, my brother. Thank you very much, Juan Mendez. Juan <laughs> Mendez. Check it out, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And I want you to tell everybody in Spanish. To hey, to make like sure and like and subscribe. Let's see. Yeah, look right Go at ahead. look right at that now at that camera. camera. Uh, to mi gente que está mirando esta entrevista aquí con Boss Talk 101 para que vayan a mirarla en su canal. 
su compa Juan Méndez. Ah, you niggas didn't know that nigga got 8 million views, bro. That nigga just shouted us out. Nigga, we got 8 million people gonna be watching us. Yes, yeah, sir, yeah, yes, we sir. excited about it too, man. Check it, man. It's going down, man. It's been another great segment again of Boss Talk 101. Yeah, wow. <laughs>